Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, good day again, everyone. So, today we will be discussing about a brief history of the uh, measurements, and this will be the first part of our introduction to measurements. Okay, so measurements of, are, of course, used to measure or give, um, uh, say, a unit for the given um, distances or weight or time that we use uh, even in ancient times. Okay. So, the measurements are actually derived from some body parts, okay? And this one is actually used during the ancient, ancient times, okay? So, starting with, we have the sand or the smallest part ng unit, which is of course yung sa may bandang sa kamay, okay? So, we have the one which is used for the fingers, which, which is called the digit, which is this one, okay? So, digit. So, that would be just like the... Uh, entire length of your fingernail horizontal okay and then the next one is uh, let's go to the next smallest one which is called the inch so inch is just simply the length of your thumb the end of your thumb here okay up until the very first line in your thumb okay that one is called an inch then of course if you will close your hand okay the length of your entire palm from the knuckle of your thumb up until the end of your other palm uh, of your palm this one is called a hand so it's called one hand okay and then the next one if you will be spreading your fingers wide okay wide across from the tip of your thumb up until the tip of your um pinky finger that one is called a span okay next one we have of course for the arm let's go with the arm again so from the tip of your um, index finger up until the end of your um, the tip of your elbow that one is called one cubit okay so let's just review the one um, involving the the hand and then the arm first one the smallest one is the digit here the next one is the inch so one inch next one is one hand next one is one span the next one is one cubit here and then the next one would be we will have the yard okay the yard will be starting if you will be um, not using the nose okay it would be from the center of your chest okay up until the end of your um, hand okay and that one is called one yard okay and then the next one from the two ends of your hands from this one and then to the other one okay and expanding your arms outwards Okay, that would be for the fat hump. Okay, so the the distance between the tip of your hand to the other tip of your hand, spreading your arms wide, it's called the fat hump. Okay, so we have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight measurement, and the very last one is called the foot. It just it's just simply the length of your um, the end of your toes up until your um we call this the sakong and it's called the ankle i think it's ankle anyways it's just uh, here the end of your feet okay so the entire length of your feet it's called the foot okay so um that would be for the ancient times and we, we are they are actually using this to um give a rough measurement for the different things that they are measuring but the thing about this one is um and in ancient times okay the measurement or of the different body parts of uh, different people are actually not the same okay so hindi naman sila pare pareha so they would they they needed a way of expressing the distances accurately yung exacto na mismo okay so that's why they came up with the different systems of measurements which is we will be discussing for the next introduction okay the next one is um we have uh the thing called the metric system okay the metric system for me is actually one of the best means of measuring because it's it's actually um not hard to convert it's very easy to convert and this would be the table for the metric system prefixes okay so if you are familiar with the centi the um the deci the milli the kilo and things like that okay and the mealy so th they are actually under the prefixes of the metric system 
the metric system will just differ by 10. Okay? Or by 0. So, ito yung mga may kita nyo, by 10. Okay? So, that would be the differences when it comes to the metric system. And you just need to be familiar with the symbols. Okay? Kasi the symbols are the one that is um, always visible when you are measuring. For example, you have, say, 6 meters. Okay? You don't write the entire meter na lang. You write the symbol. But you must know how to read them. For example, I write here, um, say, 6 nm. So, that would be nanometer. Okay? And so on. Okay? So, if we will have, if we will write the millimeter, it's supposed to be mm. Okay? So, this would be the system of um, the metric. So, this is just a rough view of the, what we, we will be discussing for the next um, topics. Because uh, what we will be doing is we will be converting the different measurements into the different prefixes that is uh, available for the metric system. Okay. So, this one, okay, the metric system. Okay. And then, as we go by in history, okay, we also have this English thing, but we will not be discussing it now. Okay. As we go by in history, okay. Um, people are actually have actually um, devised the general or the international system of units meaning this would be the general measurement for majority of things that they would be measuring may it be when it comes to the length when it comes to the mass temperature and things alike okay so kumbaga ito yung ginagamit globally internationally for majority of measurements that they will be doing okay so of course in mass pwede rin naman tayo, we can actually use um other symbols like pounds and things like that. Yung LB, yung pounds, okay? But yun nga, then again, this is would be um, the international system of units, okay? So, um, the very first one, of course, the measurement that we use for mass is, of course, we have the kilogram or the symbol for kilogram is kg. And then for the length, instead of using like inches, feet, yards, and things like that, we, they actually used the measurement of meter okay then for the temperature the we also have celsius time celsius degrees celsius degrees celsius or we have degrees fahrenheit but we use they we are using the international system of kelvin okay and then we have also the amount of a substance or just simply the number of molecules in a sub present in a substance which is of course the mole then for electric current we have the amperes and then for the time we have the seconds yung pinaka base okay and then for the luminous intensity or kung gaano kaliwanag it's called the and candela okay so you don't have to mind the other things here like the mole ampere and candela so major um, we will be dealing majorly with the time with the temperature with length and with mass as for the other things, you don't need to mind them that much kasi ano, um, those, those would be for advanced mathematics na lang, okay? So, yeah, this would be, of course, yung um, international system of units. So, let me just write that now. International system of let me just write here, units, okay? And this is also known as the SI system okay s i -sha. okay next one so next one under the of course the history muna of our measurements would be the different measuring tools that um, we have used okay we have used for measuring we have um five parts we have the length the time weight the time the temperature and then for other things okay so as for the length so these are the different tools that we use to measure length the very first one, of course, you're quite familiar. It's called the ruler. Just write it down properly. We have the ruler. And then this one is actually a meter stick or a folding meter stick. And you're familiar naman with the folding meter stick or the meter stick itself. It's just simply a stick measuring an, an entire meter. Okay? And the, the very long ruler, kumbaga. Okay? Then the next one, we have the surveyor's um, wheel surveyors sorry wheel now for the surveyors wheel this is one is actually used to measure 
distance while you are walking. So, kumbaga, when you are standing and then you are holding the surveyor's wheel and then you start walking, okay, you will be able to measure the entire distance that you have walked. And that would be so the surveyor's wheel. So, while you are walking, that wheel, this wheel, okay, will start rolling and then, of course, the measurement here will increase. So, you have to reset that from time to time if you would be starting from zero. Okay, so that would be the surveyor's wheel. And then, of course, we have two kinds of tape measure. Okay, the mechanical one, this one. And, of course, yung parang, ah, kumbaga, just the basic one, yung the manual. Okay, so these are just simply tape measures. So, tape measures, in a sense, they are actually foldable. Even this one, the mechanical one, is actually still foldable or malleable. It's flexible, okay? Same goes for this one. Okay, siyempre. Of course, that's the basic tape measure. It's usually made from like a soft plastic. Okay, and this one is actually used either for measuring distance na um, horizontal or flat. Or you can use that, of course, for measuring round objects. Okay, of course, usually used for measuring the waistlines or the uh, no, um, measurement of the body parts. Okay, so we have this one for the length. Okay, again, length is the measure of the distance flat distance most of the time okay the next one is we have this one this is used for weight okay now as for the weight we just have two examples which is of course the mechanical weight or yung ating um, digital scale uh, mechanical scale and we have also the um, digital weight or the digital scale so we have the mechanical one just use my other ink mechanical and then we have the digital okay, digital for the digital scale of course um we are using of course an led screens for your them or for it to measure the weight of an object and as for the mechanical scale is actually using the gravity okay because of course when you put something there it will be pulled down by gravity and then of course um uh, the spring will move this um, arrow to whatever specific weight the the object is. Okay, so that would be for the weight. We have the mechanical and digital scale. And as for the time, so we actually have two here that is used in ancient times or in um, old times. The very f um, the very first one. Ito, we have the sundial. Okay. So the sundial is actually um, used to measure the time and it must be um, exposed in sunlight. Okay, so kumbaga dapat it is visible in the sun. Why? Because of course the sundial uses the sun to, uh, the shadow of the sun made by the sun, okay, to measure the time. Kung anong oras na. Like for this one it's 2 p.m. based on the shadow that is produced by the shadow gnomon by the sundial okay so that would be for the sundial now in this one the hourglass or the what you call this um uh, the sand glass okay it's not actually used to measure the time itself i mean the exact time now it's just simply like a timer okay we have the We have the sand glass, or of course, sometimes it's called the hourglass. Hourglass. Okay. So not necessarily measuring an entire entire hour. Okay. So the hourglass or the sand uh, sand glass is just simply used as a timer. Usually, um, this one of course uh, we have a minute, a minute hourglass, meaning uh, as the sand is um, what they call this a uh, drain down here at the bottom part. It means that your one minute has already passed okay so this would be for the hourglass it's used mainly for timing things you know but not necessarily like the sundial meaning you will be given the time for um exact time for now okay yung oras mismo now okay now of course as time goes by um we have actually uh, the human beings have actually invented things that can measure um time um, accurately and of course we have the following examples the wrist watch okay? of course worn in your wrist and then the clock itself 
okay of course a uh, wall clock place on your walls and then of course we have the digital clock not necessarily using any mechanical parts but of course using some um, uh, digital parts and then we have the clock radio yung mga alarm clocks that you are using or um, not, not necessarily us yung, I mean the Filipinos but mostly mga say the Americans are using um, beside their bed and then of course the decorative one which is known as the grandfather clock okay so we have the pendulum here and as the pendulum swing, swings one two each 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 swing of the pendulum will be considered as one second okay so yeah so we have this um things that we are actually having now for measuring the time okay and then last uh, the next one is we have the temperature sorry measuring temperature okay uh, for the temperature of course um we have the following things firstly we have the um the room the what you call this this is this is called the a thermometer but i i know there's something called specifically here anyways thermometer ah yeah this one is mercury now as for that thermometer um the old ones are actually using mercury mercury is of course a liquid metal here yeah so as we heat up this tip of the thermometer or as the th tip of the thermometer um gets in contact with anything that is um say hot or warm okay the lead inside okay or uh, sorry not the lead the mercury inside expands and moves upwards depending on the um heat of the object that it is touching so this one is called a uh, mercury thermometer now of course um we have the other ones called the digital thermometer now okay G digital thermometer because of course this uh, mercury thermometer we just write that sorry the mercury okay mercury now because of the mercury thermometer is actually a little bit no it's not a little bit it's very dangerous kasi when you, when you break the thermometer and of, and of course your a skin comes in contact with the substance inside it will be poisonous for the human beings okay so of course we have this one the di the di digital one okay used of course to measure temperature without the risk of any um poisoning or of course for the mercury okay so yeah so go uh, next one we have the okay for the other things okay so there are actually other um measuring tools that we use in the school aside from rulers or um, tape measures or meter sticks okay and if you would be familiar with this one this one is called the um, protractor yeah. Pro -tractor. okay so the protractor is just simply a measuring tool used for measuring angles so you will put the center or the vertex of the angle here and then of course you will put one side of the figure here and then um whichever the other side of the figure lands on that would be the measurement of the angle okay so i don't think you will be using it th that much for now okay and then lastly we have the speedometer okay so speedometer is just simply uh, a device that measures the speed of a an object so of course this is very visible when it comes to cars okay so you will see at the dashboard of the car just uh, immediately in front of the steering wheel of um, of the car is the speedometer wherein of course um as the car speeds up okay the hand here or the pin here moves uh, along with it going uh, indicating how fast the object is going okay and that would be for the speedometer Okay, and later on we will be discussing in more in detail the things that we are using here we have here okay for the different measuring tools okay and as we go on with our lesson okay the main point of our lesson is for you to be able to convert okay the different um, measuring systems to the other 
kasi there are actually two major um, measuring system that we will be using which is of course the metric and then the imperial or english okay so i hope um you got everything that we need we got everything that we need here and um, if you have any other questions you can just review our video just take a note of the following um, objects that we have discussed in any case this is just simply an introduction to measurements okay and the history okay we will be continuing our introduction in our next video so thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh